All right, people, this is the cylinder which is intended to run my Trevithic engine. And originally I had it set up with a four-way valve where I had copied Trevithic's design from 1805, and I couldn't get it to work. I got it to do some interesting things, but I couldn't get it to make full revolutions and work properly. So what I've done is I've taken it apart and I've got rid of the four-way valve and I've made a new fairly typical slide valve like you see on most steam engines. And uh, most of these things, when you see them, the steam chest is built right into the cylinder or it's two pieces that are soldered together. What I've done here is I've built an intermediate block that the uh, steam chest bolts to and then the lines which would normally run inside the body of the cylinder have been replaced with these horrible flex lines. I don't have any clamps on them but I'm running at a low pressure anyway. So what I'm going to do, if I can move my camera around a little bit, I'm going to use the vice grips to pull my control valve in and out and you will see this end of the piston extend and retract when I'm doing it. So I'm going to give it a little air pressure now. It's hissing a little bit because I haven't lapped the faces of the slider. So that's working very well and it's working as quickly advancing as it is retracting. I don't have any limiters in there to prevent them from over traveling and I will build that into the rest of the design. But based on what I had thought, it's going to be very controllable with a conventional slide valve which is driven from an eccentric off of the crankshaft. And that's all I wanted to show you, and thanks for having a look.